what, what do we say? Hello. Okay. Hey, it's Dr. T, Dr. Taroski. Um, I answer to both. I'm dermatologist here at Paris or Dermatology. Want to introduce a new skincare line that we started, Terry. The hot topic in skincare right now is exosomes. Those of us that do a lot of cosmetics, this is the new rock star of skincare. And it's been a while since something truly new has come to the market. And exosomes are um, really that. A lot of questions and what does what, what's a peptide, what's a growth factor, what's an exosome. I'm going to answer some of those questions and then do some highlights on the particular product we are carrying, which is the plated brand and, and why we selected it. So a lot of buzz in the aesthetic world, um, peptides, antioxidants, hyaluronic acid, growth factors, and now exosomes. I'm going to highlight the differences of those a little bit. Peptides and growth factors are very small molecules that help tell cells to be the best versions of themselves and communicate things. But they're very individual molecules. Sometimes they're hard to get delivered into the skin um, where exosomes kind of shines in that way. So what an exosome is, is it's an actually little capsule, we call an extracellular vesicle. Vesicle just means kind of a little capsule that cells use to talk to each other. They are full of precious cargo. So what's in an exosome? Growth factors, peptides, cellular messengers, things called cytokines. So all of these things that the cells require to talk to each other are inside of these exosomes. And the cells kind of spit these exosomes out, and then it goes off to the next cell to kind of tell it what to do. So I think a perfect analogy, are these are little cargo ship carriers that um, provide messages to other cells to tell them what to do. And in aesthetics, we want it to build collagen. We want it to stimulate elastic structures. Outside of dermatology, exosomes and these kind of things are used to help you know, bone regeneration and tissue regeneration and wound caring. And they're even using exosomes in cancer studies to tell cells how not to be a cancer cell. So it's kind of really on the forefront of medicine. What makes it different from a stem cell? Well, a stem cell can make exosomes. So we used to think in science that exosomes were the trash can of the cell and that these little things that were being spit out of the cells to be discarded. It wasn't until recently that we knew that it was kind of full of these like golden products. So a stem cell makes exosomes. The challenge of that is you need to get the stem cells to the tissue. It's very hard to do that and really impossible to get a stem cell into a tissue without actually cutting the skin and getting it in that way or injecting it. Whereas exosomes are much smaller, so they can be delivered um, topically um, to allow all of these proteins to be delivered. So kind of an, a simplistic way of looking at this is thinking about chicken soup. If you extract out the ingredients in chicken soup, you'll still get some benefit. But the real magic of chicken soup is eating it all, getting all of the different nutrients, all of the broth. And that's what an exosome is. It's not just the growth factor. It's not just the peptide. It has all of those messengers inside. That way, the cell that it's communicating with is getting the full message of what it needs. We selected Plated as a company. Plated is, uh, I think, the best uh, exosome company out there. Their exosomes are derived from platelets, hence the name Plated. So our platelets make exosomes. You know, one of the challenges in the aesthetic world is drugs are only good as the manufacturing and handling after both within the company and once it gets to us. So you really don't know what you're getting. So it does take some time and research looking into these companies. Plated has this proprietary processing that makes it very shelf stable. A lot of other company exosomes have to stay in the refrigerator, which makes it very difficult to, you know, buy a bottle and take it home. So that is one of the reasons we selected it. We also selected it for the quality of the exosomes. And these exosomes have trillions of peptides and growth factors and proteins inside of them. So one little vesicle is just full of these messengers. So Plated, we do believe, has the Beck technologies in extracting and processing these uh, products. You'll notice that there's not a whole lot of bottles here. So one beauty of exosomes is it kind of simplifies your skincare routine. It has the antioxidants. It has the products that stimulate your collagen elastin. So you don't need this for this and this product for this, because when you have that full package or cargo ship of all of those different communicators, it doesn't require you using 10 different things in your skincare steps. They have a specific serum for hair. I am a hair loss patient. My hairline is slowly receding. We are very excited to add this into our hair loss uh, treatments, and this is applied topically. Uh, studies have actually shown that you can get equal efficacy to PRP. PRP is where we draw your blood and then inject that plasma and platelet back into the scalp. Then we have plated daily and intense. Intense is kind of usually the one that we'll start with to get people going. And then you can transition over to the daily for patients with younger skin and don't have as much to correct. 
you can probably start with the daily, but the intense is kind of used as like a booster. A calm product is really used for post procedure. So after we do lasering and microneedling, um, that really allows the recovery to be a lot quicker. So that's not a daily use. And then the eye, which is just formulated for that more sensitive skin under the eye. So it's not a whole lot of products because it has everything in it, which is again, one of the exciting things about exosomes. What can we expect from our exosomes? What does it do for the skin? Well, it's kind of telling the cells to be the best versions of themselves. So what happens when we get our cells to be really good at what they do with regards to the skin? Our skin's going to look lighter. It's going to be more brighter. That dead skin layer that tends to build up is not going to generate as uh, quickly. You're going to have a more luminosity. You're going to get more plumping. You're going to see a smoothness and fine lines and wrinkles, less dullness to the skin. So just an overall skin rejuvenation. For those that have done cosmetic visits with me, I always say you know, there is no such thing as doing this unless you go get a facelift. But if you are investing in your cosmetic treatments, whether it's plastic surgical things or our injectables, we do a lot of Botox and fillers here, you still brush your teeth every day and go to the dentist a couple times a year. So no matter what you're investing in procedure wise, you want to be using really good skincare. And that's kind of that analogy of you need to do something every single day to maximize these results. So this should not be looked at as a replacement for some of the other things that we do, but really working together to maintain the best possible results that we have when we are getting our cosmetic treatments.